from the world acclaimed, famous, we're talking about the Ambassador Theatre. I'm here with Ever Burning Torch, a reggae star, and also Tremaine Brown, from the Tremaine Brown Youth Care. Now the Tremaine Brown Youth Care Foundation is geared at giving back, giving back to the less fortunate ones, giving back to his community, giving back to people, not just within his community, but people from far and wide within the diaspora of Jamaica because Jermaine Brown is always caring that was something that he has in his heart from birth and um, it is a great experience for us to be able to continue with him on this blessed journey Ever Burning Torch what are your thoughts on this great feat that young Jermaine is about to embark upon? Well, um, I think it's a wonderful journey and I will give him a blessing and do so because I myself have been working with a couple of the youths from within my community which is Shenshong which is here and it has been going great and also helping a youth remember the youths are the future so we can't really think about ourselves so um, I started from within this community and I hope to spread it out um, for the patients and enjoy what you're doing, keep doing the good work and keep reaching out because you really know that you're doing a great service to you and to remember my friend. Enough for you to follow this. Do you see it? Good things can come from this. Tremaine, I know you're not a man of a lot of words, but in your own words, I want you to tell the world how you feel about starting this foundation and what was your reasons for starting it. So, we've been here coming up to three years now. We see how the place run, you understand? And we see enough of the young youths, like, they might have no one like, to inspire them. They might have no one to say, you know, like, you understand? You know, you understand? You understand? You understand? You understand? And it is, a, it is a great feat because what Tremaine is actually saying in a nutshell is that. What he sees happening around him, not much motivational people are there for the young man to look up to or look towards and to say, I want to be like that, I want to be like that. So what he's trying to do is to break that cycle, that cycle of badness begets badness. Already gave his life towards like a Ronaldo Reynolds. 
and the Almighty God gave it back to him. So please, you know, he's not going to be one of those uh, foundation personnel who would be flying around with big jets and living in mansions on the hill. Here is a young man, 26 years old, that gave his life in this same gully. This same gully that we're actually looking at. He gave his life rescuing 11 year old Ronaldo Reynolds. And then the Almighty God gave it back to him. So whatever you do, we're gonna be posting numbers, accounts and so on, and we want you to give to the Tremaine Brown Youth Care Foundation. There's a whole lot more coming on. There's a whole lot more coming up. And the journey continues with the Tremaine Brown Youth Care Foundation.
Okay, here we are. Congratulations, man. You know, started your own company, and we love that uh, people from all over the world can reach out to Tremaine Brown and assist him on his journey. Because when a young man living in an environment, especially an environment like Honey God, where some of our youngsters have seen bad times, we only hope that Tremaine continue on this drive, and we know that Tremaine will never turn back from doing what his heart and his mind sets out to do. So how do you feel today, Trine? Um, I feel wonderful actually, because yeah. a new journey of my life, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. um, I want to make an outreach to and everyone, including my community and others, you understand? understand? Yes. All right, well, I look forward to it. We know on our way to see Jaffee Campbell. Jaffee Campbell, as you know, is the mother of Benjamin Bear. Benjamin Bear is a little seven-year-old boy that was brutally mauled down by a truck uh, on October 28th at the Clan Carty Primary School. So Tremaine is on his way to meet with Jaffeen Campbell, mother of Benjamin Bear. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the People's Forum. Today I'm at Two Lower Ivy Road in Kingston and I'm here with none other than Trench Town hero Tremaine Brown and of course the mother of young Benjamin Bear, Jaffeen Campbell. Now the reason why the Tremaine Brown Foundation is here is because Tremaine saw the plight of what happened to little Benjamin Bear. And he felt so overwhelmed that he said he had to do something from his foundation. Now today marks the very first recipient of the Tremaine Brown Foundation. It is a foundation that is geared towards situation like this, helping out the, the, the helpless, reaching out to families that need real good support and not just financial support, but moral support as well. So we congratulate Tremaine Brown for this tremendous gesture. And of course, we're asking you to reach out also to Javine Campbell and to see how best you can help so that she can put her son, Benjamin Bear, to rest. Tremaine Brown, this is Javine Campbell. Jaffee, nice to meet you. Tell us how you felt, Tremaine, when you heard the news of what happened to her son. Me, myself, mm -hmm. I have a son myself, so the feeling, like you're, you're a mother as well, so I can't, I don't know what you actually going through yourself, but I can actually relate, you understand? So for, for me, when I actually heard that, it broke my heart, you understand? Yes. And knowing that you haven't, you haven't got anyone to help you, you understand? Or to stand by your side, so today, I just wanted from our foundation to give you a help and a support. Who was that? Um, Jaffine, tell us again, refresh the, the, the viewers because Tremaine's fan base is all around the world and a lot of people who follow Tremaine will not be aware of what your situation is. So before we make the presentation, we'll want you once again to enlighten us to what is your pain, what have you been experiencing, and so on. 
As I said, Mr. Big Stone, many, many persons don't know what happened in my situation. My son, Benjamin Bear, on the 28th of, of October, the morning I take him to school and he never, he never come back home. I got a call that a rubbish truck was called on, on the school premises of Clancarty Primary School and the truck get out of control and fell on him. How does that make you feel? I can understand the grief and pain, but you were expecting to see your little son, seven-year-old Benjamin, come home when his stepfather showed up to pick him up that fateful evening. Yes. So what, what, what was your feelings like? I know you was hurt and painful, but describe to us, because we're trying to understand, but we can't because we don't, we're not in your body. Tell us, tell us how you're feeling at this moment, losing your son. I'm in pain, that word can say. I'm in grief, the family is still mourning. Me, myself, can't sleep, I can't eat. I just miss my Benjamin. He loves food and I find it hard to eat without him. Wow. And that morning, because I've, I've had the opportunity of speaking to Jafine Campbell before, and she said she fixed his favorite breakfast that morning which was egg and bread and tea and of course his lunch was packed with bun and cheese because that's what little Benjamin loves to uh, to eat at lunchtime so she that morning she was explaining to me that normally he would talk but that morning he, he just waved to you right. explain to us how, how that happened that morning when I, when I normally take them to school right his sister would like when, when she kissed me, she was like, bye-bye, mommy. But Benjamin, he will follow and like, just like that. So that was the last, the gesture, last gesture you got from your son. Like, right. it was like a farewell, he's mommy. Not fun of, he's not fun of saying goodbye. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow, that hurts to the core. What type of support you have been getting? I know um, by now, I would only hope that the ministry of education have reached out to you or uh, the school where little Benjamin went, the Clancarty Primary School. I would only hope that they have reached out to you and because um, you have not set a date yet for your son's funeral. No, I haven't set a date as yet. We are waiting on the church and, up to, and not only that, I just find this situation impossible. I still don't come to my senses Great. that yeah. Benjamin Beer is really dead. My son that I was growing up to be a man. I can't picture my son, 70 year old, being dead. So we haven't set a date yet. And I'm, 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 I'm not getting as much support that, support that I'm supposed to. I'm hearing from the school. I haven't, I haven't heard from the Ministry of Education as yet. And as I said right now, they need to reach out to me because I haven't getting any positive feedback of what is happening. At this time, being uh, an associate to the family, I'm reaching out to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Honorable Prime Minister Andrew Onis. We know, sir, that you are the Chief of Staff. We know, Mr. Onis, that your heart is a powerful heart where something like this would really, would really make you feel bad. So we're asking your office the office of the prime minister we're calling we're also calling on the honorable babsy grange to reach out to jaffine campbell the clock is ticking it's almost three weeks now since you've lost a child and at least you don't want to have her son lingering at the funeral home she would love to put her son to rest so that the family can begin to heal Healing from something like this will take years and it will not happen now. But at least, Mr. Prime Minister, we're begging you to make her transition because she's feeling pain. Right now I'm speaking to you, sir. My eyes is filled with tears because I understand as a father what it is to have lost a child. It is something that is very painful. And at this particular time, we need support, the family, need support 
a lot of people have been saying this, a lot of people have been saying that, but you've just heard from Jofreen Campbell the truth. Nobody really has actually reached out to her. Nobody has come to her and said, okay, we know and we understand the situation of what happened to your son. We cannot bring back little Benjamin, but we'd like to make this contribution so that your funeral expenses to take care and we know funeral expenses these days ladies and gentlemen are very expensive the lowest cost you can have a funeral for is about two hundred thousand dollars and we're talking about the, the casket we're talking about the site we're talking about the setup we're talking about other little things that have to be addressed so we're appealing to the prime minister we're appealing to the honorable bob Grange. we're appealing to anyone out there who can assist this family there's an account at the National Commercial Bank and the account number is 0650-88991. Remember, account number 0650-88991. That account is in Javine Campbell's name. Javine, I know you have a little eight-year-old daughter, right? What's her name? Seraphine Beer. Her name is Seraphine Beer. How has she been coping with this tragedy? Denial. She's she, in denial. She, she constantly asking for her brother. I don't really think she know what death means. She don't really know what death means. Like when they are saying, your brother is gone, he's dead. He's in a better place. I've never taken them to a funeral. I don't even have cable and TV for them to really see certain things. Actually, I grow them actually I lock them away from society. Yes, yes. I know that out there is not pretty, but I just let them believe that all is well under my wings. Yes. Um, you've been working, I know, tirelessly um, to keep things in order. She have made a number of radio appearances. She was on Best FM recently, and she was also on Roots FM. Currently, we're trying to get her story out there. And that is why when Tremaine Brown made contact and said he wants his foundation to make a contribution. Now, remember the Tremaine Brown Foundation is in its young stage. It is just, it's not a rich foundation, but because of the kind of person that Tremaine Brown is, you know the heart that Tremaine Brown has. Because remember on that fateful day in September, when little Ronaldo Reynolds was playing in the gully in trench town he got into difficulties and ladies and gentlemen we are in a camera age we're in a social media uh, uh, rage we're in a social media uh, i don't know what fanatic because everybody who just pick up a camera and actually watch somebody die watch somebody take their last breath but tremaine brown didn't do that a matter of fact Tremaine Brown can't even swim. So for a man who don't even think of his own life and to see the life of young Ronaldo Reynolds slipping away, what he did was beyond bravery. I've spoken to a lot of people. I had the opportunity of meeting Tremaine when it just happened. And when you see his knees, you can see the fresh wound, the fresh scars from him in the gully going towards the sea going towards certain death so when it, it says he wants to start this foundation a foundation that will help to motivate his community help to uplift his community help to make young ones because he's into the young ones he's saying big stone listen we have to break the tree from it is young we have to train that tree this is what the tremaine brown foundation is all about so at this time, I'm going to ask Tremaine Brown to stand and also Jafine Campbell to stand. And Tremaine Brown is going to make the presentation to you. Um, Jafine, I just want to give a um, donation from the foundation, Tremaine Brown Foundation for you, um, $10,000 towards funeral costs. Okay, thank you. Well done. Well done. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, the Tremaine Brown Foundation 
has made a contribution. Tremaine Brown is not a rich man, but in his chest there beats a heart. In my chest there beats a heart. In Patrick Roman's chest there beats a heart. So I know in your chest out there, there beats a heart. Her son has been lying, sleeping there for almost three weeks since it happened. We need to put little Benjamin Bear to rest. So we're asking you once again to make your contribution to the National Commercial Bank and the account number is 0650-8891. The name on the account is Jaffeen Campbell, which is J-A-P-H-E-N-E. -E. You wanna say anything, Jaffeen? Yes, to Tremaine and the foundation? Thank you very much. You're doing a good job and continue the work that you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Presentation has been done. My job has been done. But we ask you, please, to have Jaffeine Campbell in your prayers. She needs you at this moment. And our final statement to the Prime Minister of this country Mr. Prime Minister, please, sir, please step forward and address this situation. You are chief in command. Thank you all for watching, and I do hope you can have a great day. Thank you. Are we going to take some pictures now with Mr. Trimian?